going on everybody z here and welcome to dyson sphere program um i'm pretty excited about this game it looks super cool looks super neat we're gonna hop right on into it uh if you guys want to check it out i've linked down below short stuff out of the way let's get on into it now what is this game well essentially a dyson sphere um so i guess we can choose number of stars resource multiplier 1x i don't really know i kind of want to just get in here and see what happens let's just do it let's just do it let's just get in let's see what happens so a dyson sphere if you do not know if you're not familiar with what a dyson sphere it is the idea of completely circling a star Welcome to get to all of its universe. resources of you energy and stuff like that oh. from our homeland okay should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time oh i am your advisor and will help you through this mission thank you um, but anyways, the Dice Sphere program, uh, that's what it is. It basically put a giant man-made structure around the sun to harvest all the energy from it. Now, this game is not developed in English, so uh, there might be some, like, translation kind of things going on, but that's all right. It doesn't Everything take away from the gameplay. Is as one Everything of here is yours. And the as well as this. You know what? Let me turn down the music real quick. We'll explore this cluster. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland starting from scratch nice i have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission looks like earth which has necessary resources for initial development now please drive the space capsule to the planet okay so this is a factory-esque type game but it's interplanetary factory building stuff so there's gonna be resources that we can uh that we set up we can auto harvest we do things like that we can set that up on one planet and then we can start doing stuff on another planet and another planet it's super cool it looks super neat i'm now super excited we're about to reach the designated planet okay we're here i'm so excited for this oh my gosh let's land initiate landing sequence that ship is super cool looking. I'm just saying. I'm like, I'm just saying. Oh, it's cool. I don't know why. I'm so excited. I'm so excited right now. All right, we have arrived. Now, this does give me a Factorio this type feel. Dangerous. Factorio factory building, you know, kind of thing. Mecha with powerful functionality. Okay. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, oh. you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Okay. All right. So, I believe I can mine stuff. All right. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Oh, right click to recycle. On okay. To recycle. Let's recycle this bad boy down. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. How come I don't feel like this In is the meantime, a... <laughs> hold oh. down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Oh, so I can say harvest this, harvest that, and then that, and then that. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is super neat. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Okay. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Okay, or hit E. Okay, so there's our inventory. So we have some iron ore. We've got a hydrogen fuel rod, which I think we're going to need because this right here looks like our uh, power. We've got iron, magnet, and copper ingots. Okay. Super cool. Okay, background. What is the Dyson Sphere Basic Operation Guide? Gather Resource Command. Okay, so we did the gather resource command. You can hold down mouse middle button to drag, drag or rotate, to rotate the, angle. the angle of view. Oh. Or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Oh, look at our epic mech suit. This thing is super cool looking. Oh, I want to build something. Let me build something. How do I build stuff? Technology tree, details, inventory, uh, replicator, uh, mecha panel, statistics, technology tree. Oh, main quest. Okay. So should I, do I need to wait? I probably need to wait. It's probably gonna tell if me. you have not unlocked the construction menu, which oh. will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Scientific Click technology, the technology tree is the most productive. The open the tech tree to activate a research. Okay. Tree and activate a research. Main quest. So this one's already done. So let's go ahead and let's activate that one. It takes 1200 hashes. Uh, double click item to view recipe. So, okay, a magnetic coil takes two magnets and a copper and then we have an assembler okay so i want to make uh 
two of those, I guess. So I just do that. Okay. Research consumption. Oh, it takes 10 of those. Okay, well, let's... Oh, Energy is required okay. in all mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen. I probably should stop using power. Panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Okay, so fuel. Fuel chamber right there. So these in here. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, let's go back to our technology tree here. This deal. Uh, so research consumption, consumption takes 10 of these. So let's go ahead and pull this back up. I need to make, what, 10 of these bad boys? So there's two. We need, what, eight more? Oh, wait, it's times two, though. So we don't. We already made two. So we'll just make four more. Produce. Hey, there it goes. Four. Three. Two. Oh. One. Zero. Okay, wind turbine, Tesla tower, and a mining machine. <laughs> it's time. Uh, Mecha's core is insufficient. Okay, so upgrades. Energy required to do that. Da, 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 da. Looks cool, looks cool. Let's get rid of that. Uh, research result. You've unlocked a new automatic mining machine, which will automatically collect ores for you. Of course, its capacity is limited. You may wish to transport, transport these minerals uh, to the smelting facility automatically okay energy is required to play a mining machine here we go or collecting automation pick it up from the inventory or We're select selected. it on gathering of construction menu to build it okay so uh go to our inventory i have this take items split items <gasps> oh you can use the r key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins Okay. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want so, to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. Well, we got six there. We've got six there. Can I get any more than six? I don't think so. All right, let's do this. <gasps> oh, this is super cool. Okay, it needs power though. All right, so we gotta we gotta get power. So we should have what a Tesla tower, a wind turbine. Okay, it's not telling me anything about wind turbine now. How do I know? Does the wind turbine, what does a Tesla tower do? Uh, the power transmission facility can extend the power reach. Okay, okay, so that's that. Now these guys, the primary power can convert wind energy into electrical energy. The actual generation capacity is related to the planet's wind uh, energy ratio. So how do I know what my wind energy ratio is in this current spot? I don't know. So let's just throw it right here. And let's just hope for the best, shall we? Wind turbine. I seriously. You put have that. established your first power grid. Not all power facilities okay. has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And that's gonna cover this, but then I should be able to move it from this side over here. <gasps> you have done building the first power transmission facility. Tesla tower. We've done it. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area. Oh my gosh, this is super cool! To view the current power grid information. Okay, click on it to view the current power grid information. So, generating capacity is 300 kilowatts. Consumption demand is 420. Oh, it was 420. Uh, current generation is 24. Generation capacity is 300. Okay, okay, all right. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. I cannot wait to set up a super amazing intergalactic factory of amazingness. That is what I'm excited for. Now, another thing. This game is early access, so keep that in mind. There are things that they are planning to add to the future. Uh, in the trailers, it shows some like some like turret defensey kind of stuff. Um, I believe at this point in time there are no enemies that attack you. However, in the future there will be, and you're gonna have to uh, you'll have to set up defenses to defend your stuff against. So let's move on to. Mega's core energy is insufficient. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so we have, we have a whole bunch of background stuff right here. Let me see Mega core energy. Let's let's. I'm gonna read through this. All right, so we can actually put trees into our inventory to do stuff. 
uh, which is super exciting and super cool. Now, how do I replicator building? What do I need to build one of these? So we need like electronics, we need magnets, we need uh, those things. Okay, so what is the, what do these take? This takes that, that takes that. This takes copper and iron. Okay, so I guess we could start working on that. What do we need for technologies? Electromagnetism, electromagnetic matrix, automatic metallurgy. Oh, that's gonna do some metallurgy stuff. Electromagnetic matrix. Uh, matrix lab center brains connector used to produce uh ma matrices and research technology the more the matrix slams the faster the production research speed okay and then assembling process okay so we could do some of this stuff as well what do we have down here all kinds of goodies what is this basic logistics system <gasps> conveyor belts uh fluid storage high efficiency plasma control and electro magnetic drive oh my gosh there's so much stuff in here now i don't know how much of this is actually implemented at the time um but it is it is really neato so okay upgrades universe exploration oh these are the matrices okay so that's oh well this consumes those but this actually consumes the 10 matrices and 1800 hashes oh this is we're able to view the veins distribution on the planet oh my gosh i'm so excited all right, so uh, it looks like we got some some stuff stopped now. So let's go ahead and let's just go, let's just go to town. Let's grab some let's grab some of this copper right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shift click or we'll just click on that one, and then we'll let it do its thing. Now there is thirteen point four thousand copper in that one. So we're gonna be sitting here. We could sit here for a minute. The whole vein has 159,000 copper in it. <gasps> That's amazing. That's super cool. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Oops, didn't mean to do that. What is this guy? Okay, so that's like what, rock? No. What, it, what material is that? Like a glass, it's like a shard of some sort. And what are these? Stone, okay. Then we have trees and whatnot. So now we gotta keep an eye on our power situation here because we don't have enough power. I already know that. How's the mining going? zero per minute oh it's full okay all right well since this is already full of iron let's get into our research and let's go into we need something to do with that iron because that's iron ore i believe metallurgy what does this do high efficiency temperature smelting ore and metal produced by electro electrode arc can be used for purification crystal and crystal smelting Okay, so how do we make, can we actually craft basic raw material used to produce various items used to smelt in iron ingots and magnets obtained by gathering iron vein. Okay, so we need to figure out what we need to get going to probably get this one going. Okay, let's do that. 10 magnetic coil and some circuit boards. Uh, oh, click to view upgrade researches. Mecha core. In Q. In Q. Use inventory items. Okay, so I need to make 10 and 10. Do I have the stuff to make this? I don't think I have the stuff to make this because I don't have a way to craft that right now. Hold on a second. We got to figure out how to refine this stuff. Because I got to turn this into some kind of ore. Okay, so I want to craft these. Produce 40? Is 40 the max? Okay. So we're going to set that up. Is that taking power? Doesn't look like it's taking power. Okay, then we have 100 of this. So let's go ahead and queue these all up as well. Is it control click? Control shift click? Shift click. Oh, this is our multiplier at a time. There we go. Okay, so that's going to make all of our... Oh, copper and... Okay, so it's going up. It's going up. Okay, cool. Oh, that's super neat. So we're just crafting in our backpack for now because that's all we really can do. So we need to make these items in order to get this stuff going. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to get a factory going here. This is going to be fantastic. Now, I'm actually kind of curious. I didn't even actually look at this. So I set up the things to make the stuff. 
Now, I'm, what I'm curious about is if I, if I queued, say, this to make this, do I have to manually make each part first or will it queue that in order to make the part? I want to check that out here. Um, okay, so manual research is going good. I accidentally made 20 magnetic deals. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get our metal, me metal lurgy. Metal lurgy. It's going to be done soon. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Okay. So I'm curious if it'll craft that way or not. I think, I don't think I have anything that I need right now. No, we don't. Okay. Manual research. Let's see. So we are going to unlock a smelter. That's going to be super exciting. And we've done it. Automatic metallurgy. Uh, okay, so we've unlocked that. Now, the next thing is I want to get some conveyor belts going. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Wait, what did, what did I just... I already unlocked this. What's the manual research doing? Oh, it's doing this. Okay, cool. That's going to be done here soon too. Nice. All right, so technologies. I want to go ahead and do this and we'll queue that up. So I need 10 circuit boards, which I already have. And then we need, uh, what, 10 of these gears as well? That's easy enough. Oh, our manual, our uh, other research is about done. Oh, it's about done. Core size should be bigger. Uh, plus 40 MJ max core energy have increased. Okay, cool. So this, gears. I want to make, so I only have five. I want to make 10. Will it auto smelt this? For me it does oh my gosh it does it for you that is amazing i love crafting i love crafting systems that will automatically make the individual items for you that is fantastic that is an amazing crafting system great work on that that <laughs> oh, I'm so excited this is awesome uh, and then i have three smelting facilities so let's go ahead and let's check these out so uh we're gonna be getting a lot of iron from this so i'd like to set them up over here somewhere a basic logistics system uh you've unlocked automated logistics the conveyor belt and sorter you can use them to automatically transport the ores gathered in the mining machine for smelting or to load them into storage <gasps> did i get you storage? Have received the sorter and the conveyor belt hey which can achieve full automation now Use yes. the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine. Okay. And the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Okay, so did I get some of those things? I did. So let's get a smelter in here. Uh, let's see. Do I do I need like a few of them? Or do we just let's let's should we just get the one for now? Let's just get the one for now. I don't want to go crazy here. Um, okay. We built a smelter. Yay! Which can smelt basic materials, such as iron, iron ingots and copper, copper ingots, ingots automatically. automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters, sorters and, conveyor and conveyor belts. Okay. Belts. So if I want to go... When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level and use the down arrow key to drop down one level Oh. the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt. To the oh, ground. so we can lift and if lower? That's the really cool. Belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Uh, in addition, okay, shift key. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down shift key, and that'll detach it from the building. Okay, so if I put that right there, what is that gonna do? Oh, look at look at our little dudes. Now, you know what's crazy is the mech we're in. This thing might be gigantic and we have no idea. Okay, so how does this work? The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport oh. them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Okay. And then we probably have to set up. It's connected cargoes. It will automatically transport as long as the facility is receiving. Maybe I need to expand out our belt a little bit. No, no, not going to work. Oh, you know what? I did it the wrong way. Shoot. Uh, 
How do I? How do I? How do I? Oh shoot! I think I did it the wrong way. Uh, dismantle facility. Okay. So I got. Did I get my sorter back? I did. All right. So what I want to do is I want to put it from here into there. So the arrows are going that way. Okay. So now I think, I think there's something we have to do on this. Uh, select a recipe. All right. We want. I wanted iron ingots. Inventory. Select a recipe. Oh, here we go. Okay. Iron ingot. Oh, there it After goes. The recipe, you can use the less than to copy key the recipe. To copy the recipe. And the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Oh, super cool. Okay, so um, as far as resources go, we've got that that requ this requires raw iron. This requires raw iron. That does not. That does not. That does not. Okay, so ideally, let's go up and set up another factory deal right there. And then we'll go ahead and set this guy up uh, right here to there. And then let's go ahead and select the recipe for this guy as the magnet. We need more power though. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. Okay, so now we have that. Do we have storage? We do have a storage used to store products, but the capacity is limited. Storage size is 30 slots. So uh, not enough. Oh, hold on. What is that? What is this stone? Okay, let's go grab some stone real quick. And then we're going to make a storage thing so we can store those two items in there. Uh, we'll go over here and start grabbing it from here. Okay, we have enough stone. Uh, let's go ahead and queue up like all of this, basically. Just let it do its thing. Because I don't think raw stone is going to be uh, super useful for us. And we'll go back out of here. Nope, this way. And let's go over here. Okay, we need to make more wind power as well. What do we need for wind turbines? So power, wind turbine, we need those specific items. Okay, so nothing super crazy. Okay, before we get going on anything else, let's go ahead and get a storage in here. Because I should have the stuff for... No. Uh, let's see. Can I take you and put you into my inventory? Okay. So now I should have the stuff for... Not enough items. What? Four stone and six of those. What do I have in my inventory? I have this stuff. Not enough items. Double click. Oh, we have to make it in here. Okay, well, let's make two of those. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh my gosh, yes. It's under buildings. Okay. So now we have two of those. So if I put one... Oh, geez, Louise, that is huge. Uh, let's put one there. Oh, darn it. You built a storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Uh, I really want it right here, but we need to move our power deal. I want them right next to each other. I don't think I could... Let me see. Can I put it that close? Is that going to work? And then I should be able to put from here to there... And then from here to here. Oh, you know what? I don't have enough. That probably used two because it was two blocks long. <gasps> Genius. Wait, no, this this says I have two. No, it's got to be further apart. Okay. Uh, Can we? Let's do this. Let's dismantle this and let's move it. All right. Now we should be able to go from here to there. Perfect. Oh, and you can see what's going in there. Heck yes. All right, so now we need to get more power going. We don't have enough power for anything right now. So in order to get more power going, I need to go ahead and I need to make, I need to make some wind turbines. Now I need uh, six ingots, one gear, three magnets. I have 10 magnets. Uh, how many gears do I have? I don't have any gears. So if I go in here, wind turbine. I can make six. Let's make all six. Let's just do it. That's going to go ahead and craft up all those. Then we can get more wind to go in through here. <gasps> this is amazing. This is super exciting. Like, we got a little basic e itty bitty teeny tiny thing going on here. You know what? I think while we wait for this... Uh, what is this? Oh, that's coal? 
We gotta go grab coal because we need power for our suit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a whole bunch of coal here. You know, this might actually be handy for us to put a miner on too. Oh, I guess we could set up more miners. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking too small. Like we could have so much more going on right now. All right, let's choose the max suit. Let's go ahead. Is this coal? Is that in here? That ain't gonna last very long, is it? All right, let's put this coal in here too. I mean, it's filling up better. Okay, so we got those going. Uh, we have some turbines. Let's go ahead and place our power turbines down, wind turbines. Now, we can't place them within the same range, apparently. And we're gonna be putting a miner probably right in here. So I don't want to, uh, I don't wanna overdo that. What's right here? There's like nothing here. So let's put one there. 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 Kind of get this whole little area filled in. I can't put them in the water, right? No, that would, of course not, duh. <laughs> of course not. Go in there. All right, we've got all the wind turbines. And it looks like we have enough power. Do we have enough power now? So uh, generation capacity is 2.1 megawatts. And we're pulling 1.2 max. Consumption, generation. Oh, I love this. The different colored rings, consumption, generation, discharge, and charge. Oh, that is super nice. Okay, so let's get a miner going for copper and let's start processing some copper stuff. Okay, so we have another mining machine. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate it. Can I smooth rotate? No, okay, so it's on a grid. Um, we'll go ahead and grab that. Now, it needs power. So let's see, do I have the stuff to make this? Let's go ahead and make a Tesla tower. Let's make two of those just so we have a couple available. And then we're gonna start processing that. We can get some more smelters going. We can get some stuff going smelting that way. And then, ooh, we're not doing our research. What are we doing? We need to be doing research stuff. Mechanical frame, inventory capacity, communications control. I want technologies. What else do we have? So electromagnetic matrix, basic assembling process. Fluid storage and calculation, high, inf high efficiency plasma control. Uh, let's just go with this one next. We'll go ahead and activate that. And then what? I need 10 gears and 10 electronic deals. That's not hard to do. Actually, do I have any more of these? Okay, I do have a Tesla tower. Heck yeah. Now, I'm probably going to put the power stuff over here. Or the smelting stuff. So let's get this, like... Uh, We'll get it right there. That'll be fine. Oh, I love the little drones going out and building stuff. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to get more conveyors going. Logistics. Conveyors, those things. We need more of those. So is that a building? That is a building. I can only build three. Why can I only build three? Oh, it's because... So... Use inventory items. Right-click to split items. Hold shift to pick up multiple. Hold control to pick up all of the same item. Okay. So I need to get... Basically, we need to get all the basic stuff going. So I need to also get gears going. So that way I don't have to make them by hand. I can just go and grab them out of a storage deal. Uh, let's work on that because we should be able to get. Oh, no, that's going to be the assembler, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be the assembler. Um, I can only make three of those. I don't think eight is going to be enough. Here, let's try it. Let's, let's see how far we can get. Okay, so that's as far as we could go with that. That's going to be raw copper. So we got to get that smelted and then turned into something. And then I need to get bars. Okay, so let's get this stuff going. Let me grab uh, let me grab uh, 57 of those and we'll get some of this stuff being made. So basically, we need to set up automation and get like all of the basic stuff going so we can just keep building. And then you know what? Let's go ahead. Uh, let's see. Storage. Logistics, production. Let's go ahead and get a smelter going in here. Just for the sake of getting things smelted. Uh, do I not have a storage? I don't have a storage deal. Okay, let's see. Can I make a storage deal? I need more iron bars. 
I click this from over here? Heck yes, I can. Okay, and then right here, we should be able to throw a logistical deal. Uh, from here to there. And then we gotta select the recipe for this, which is going to be just a copper ingot. Bog standard, nothing fancy. Yeah, we really need to, uh, we really need to start making stuff out here. That way we're not pulling our power so much. It's like we are losing power pretty good. Let's go grab some more coal. Okay, so what did we get made? Did we get storages made? We got storages made. All right, so let's throw a storage there. Did I get any more smelters? I got some more smelters. Let's go ahead and throw a smelter there. Um, I'm thinking we're going to throw another smelter over here as well to make gears because we're going to go do gears to bars and then bars to uh to gears as well so let's go ahead and get another one in here and then what do we need for more belts so how many can i make i can only make one it's because i'm out of iron bars again <laughs> we need these bars so much all right belts i can make 51 let's make 51. oh each one makes three <laughs> i made a lot i made a lot uh, i made a lot okay that's fine now let's go ahead and expand this out to right there. Now what do I need for these guys? More iron ingots and circuit boards. What do I need for circuit boards? Copper and bars. Okie dokie. So copper. Do I have any more? I don't even have a single one, do I? Hmm. Okay, so that one's doing copper bars. Uh, What? Do you do anything else with raw copper? It doesn't look like it. Actually, yeah, it doesn't really look like it. So I guess we can go ahead and set this one up to do copper bars if we wanted to. Um, I'm probably just going to let it sit there for a minute, though. And then let's get... Do I have any of these? I do. Okay, perfect. So let's go from here to there. That can go ahead and start storing. Now, uh, how's our power generation looking? Oh, we're almost maxing it out. We, we are almost maxing it out already. Holy moly. All right, so what do we need for the researching stuff? Um, I need 10 more of these guys. And I can make 40. There's going to be 20 right there. All right, so that's going to get our research going. And then we should get into the, is it metallurgy that we're getting into? Or assembly, assembly. Okay, so that, I'm guessing, is going to be able to make the circuit boards and the gears and that kind of stuff. And there it is, basic assembly process. Uh, you've unlocked the assembly mark one you can make iron and copper ingots into more advanced products but its speed is slower by upgrading technology you can make a faster assembler <gasps> nice okay so what do i need so the items that we need to assemble magnetic coil gear and circuit board so i need three of these bad boys and i can make four. One, two, and three so now we're going to have to pull copper and we're going to have to pull iron in order to make a couple of them. I love this already. This is amazing. This is like a, this is like a, and a, this is almost like a 3D Factorio where you have like interplanetary stuff. Now from the video, it shows like drones flying all over. It shows you having logistics from planet to planet, going to other planets, bringing stuff from one planet to another, uh, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And I'm sure that's all like super late game. It might not even be fully developed right now at the point. Like I said, this is early access. But so far, I am loving what I am seeing. Okay, so uh, let's go to production assembly machine. This one's going to make gears. And we got to go ahead and do some logisticals on this. So let's go ahead and go from here to there. And then from here to there. That one doesn't have power. Do I have a power Tesla tower? I don't have a Tesla tower. We need to make some Tesla towers. Let's go ahead and make a, a few of those. Let's get this area covered here. Ta-da! Look at that. Magically covered. Now we're going to be running out of power again. <laughs> Go figure. All right. So this has got to make those. And then this guy has got to make these. And then we need a storage for that. Of course, of course. So there's that. Let's go ahead and get this guy in here. This one to there. Fantastic. Okay. So now we're making gears. So our inventory is not making gears. That is always a good thing. Now, what else? Uh, we have the, what, magnetic coils? Gears, magnetic coils, and electronics. Oh, so these both, okay, so one of these needs copper and magnets, and the other one needs copper and steel. 
Okay, so how do we do this? How do I want to do this? So we're going to need a copper line and a steel line. Huh. So what we need, let me put down in a similar first. We're going to need a copper line, a steel line, a copper line, and a magnet line. Now, with the logistics, will these things transport cargo from conveyor belts into facilities between facilities can install filter to filter the cargo? Sword of Mark 1, set filter. Oh, so we can have them go to the same... Well, that... But if we have them go to the same one, that means that they can back up. So we can't really do that. I can't really have them go into one specific line. Hmm logistics logistics i'm liking it uh let's go grab more coal we need i need i want to get my power back up this is not good actually you know what we need to set down a miner over here do we have a miner we do indeed let's set this bad boy down over here and then i need a tesla tower uh let's see are we gonna be doing any refining of coal i don't think so but i'm not positive so we'll just do that uh, let's go ahead and let's grab a storage deal. We're just going to go ahead and put it right here. And can I run a, can I run a belt directly from here to here? Can I run this guy? No, this has to go out on a belt. Okay, so we'll just do that. And then this guy uh, from here to there. That'll get us our coal. And then we can just grab coal and throw that and then power up. Okay, super easy, super nice. I like it. Now, under our research tab, do we have any kind of power? Oh, thermal power. But it requires that. Okay, so fluid storage, high efficiency plasma. All right, well, these are the things that we need to get going. Oh, uh, never mind. It looks like this is the next one. Let's activate that. And what do we need? We need 10 of those and 10 of those. All right, those should be good to go. Now, now that we got coal going, can I grab it from all over here? Oh, heck yes, I can. Then I can go ahead and throw that right into my suit. Nice. So we got to get the, uh, we got to get the metallurgy stuff figured out because we've got a couple different things. Actually, we probably should just do it over here because this is where the copper stuff's coming out anyways. Electromagnetic matrix. Okay, so what is this? Research? Uh, used to produce matrices. Okay, so let's just place that. Uh, let's place it right there. And we'll see what's going on with this guy. Okay, so how do I do this? Matrix lab. Oh. You can use it to make super matrices. Okay. Or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain. For maintaining the home world you could upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible you can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously okay so tip matrix mode is to produce matrix research mode is to research tech which requires matrix no matrix research activated so if i go under here and say we activated this activate uh, is it going now? Fluid storage encapsulation. This technology can encapsulate the fluid. Oh, you know what? It's because it probably doesn't have... Stop the work of the Matrix Lab and return to idle. Lack of Matrix. How do I make... So we just want it to... Oh! So we have to produce a magnet and an electronic to produce a matrix to unlock the next stuff oh things are getting spicy i am this is i am this small scale is not going to work for very much longer so i need to bring in a couple of things you know i'm feeling like we just need to like tear everything down and redo it and make everything so much bigger <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's get uh let's get our production. Let's get our assembly machines going. So we're gonna have one requires copper and steel, one requires copper and magnets, and the other requires 
What do we got? Okay. So copper and steel, copper and magnets. And this is going to require that and that. Okay. So we need to bring over copper and steel and copper and magnets. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so for testing purposes, let's run this. Let's run a conveyor line here. And let's run a conveyor line here. And the reason I want to do that is I want to see if the sorter can pull from this over the top or if it cannot. Because we're going to need one to here. Oh, snap. It can. That just made my life so much easier. One from there. One from there. And then copper and steel. Copper and that. Okay. Oh, this is actually going to work. This will work out good. Uh, can I put this here? Ooh, no. Oh, you know what? We can run right here. I can do this. Like that. And we can do copper from here to here, here to here. And then uh, storage from there to there to there to there. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so one to there. And then one from there to there. This is going to be copper. So we need to bring this from down over there. Then we need to bring one of these down to this one and one of these down to that one. Oh, super easy. Shoot, we got this. We got this. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen. Oh, or press the M key to try the planet view mode. We have a planet view mode? Oh, what? In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button <gasps> drag, rotate the angle of view, and we can look around, and hold down the right mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press that is N super cool. To point to the front to the north pole. That is super cool. Oh my gosh, that's super neat. Okay, we gotta finish getting this set up though. All right, so we are gonna go from. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on a second. I did this wrong. I don't need you. I don't need that, and I actually don't even need that because that just has to go from there to there. Uh, this one's going to go into here. So this one is pulling from magnets and copper. Magnets and copper give us... Magnets and copper gives us a magnetic coil. So this is going to be a magnetic coil. And this one is going to be the circuit board. Too easy. And then all I have to do is get this, uh, this last bit done right here, which we should be able to go just like this. Onto that. And we should be able to get this guy set up from here to this guy, hopefully. So there's that one, and then this one to there, and then this one to there, and then that should automate these. And then I need to do some pulling out of these. Um, let's see, how many more storages? I need at least one more storage. Can I make it? No, I need more stone. We gotta get a uh, we gotta get a stone mine going too. Okay, so last thing that I want here is some storage. So we're going to go and put one there. We'll put one there. Get some. Oh, will these logistics work this far away? Shoot, they don't. Uh, let's pick these up. Maybe I can move them closer. We'll put one there and there. And then logistics that. Yes. Okay, perfect. Woo. Oh, I was a little worried. Oh, each one of those only requires one, one sorter. Okay, cool. So we have magnets and we have circuit boards being made. What did we need for this? Magnets and circuit boards. So we need to bring these two items over to here. And then, yeah, we need to bring both of these items over there to automatically get turned into the magical stuff. You know what? I should just move that building over. Let me just do that. All right. Yeah, this is going to go right here. So that way we can just uh, automate this bad boy. So let's see here. If I just do. Can we go directly from here to here? And then from here to here. Oh, what? I can't that, that one can't go from there to there. Darn it. Okay, so let's just do this then. We'll just do that. 
We'll do this from here to here. And this one from there to there. Enjoy. Ha ha ha! Uh, looks like we need more power though. Power, Tesla Tower. Get that over there. Okay, so this is going. It's going to start making magnets. Produce. Oh, there it goes. All right. It's producing electromagnetic matrix. Oh, this is super cool. <laughs> oh, this is super cool. I love it. But that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you check out the game in the link down below. It is called the Dyson Sphere Program. Um, I don't know how much it else is off the top of my head, but uh, make sure you check it out. Super cool, super neat. It is early access, but I got to say right now, the gameplay is solid. I have not seen any little bugs. I haven't really seen anything that... Uh, that would make me think anything was going on. I love I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I don't know how far we can get into the game currently, but I'm super excited. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, because we're going to be playing more. I guarantee it. And I want to be able to paint my bot red. I'm just saying, like, I want to be able to make this red. But anyways, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.